Hi, hello. Welcome to GRTC videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like to see, uh, if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time we upload new videos. In this video, we will discuss the design of singly reinforced rectangular beam. I divided this uh, video into three parts. Okay, so explain ko mamaya bakit naging tatlong parts ito. So I encourage you, if you're interested, interested in this topic, so you watch the three parts. Okay, so in this video, we are given the beam dimensions, uh, the width, the effective depth, the service loads dead and the line, and the material strengths FC prime and FY. And then out of that, we will determine the required longitudinal bars using the 2001 and the 2015 NSCP, 2010 or 2015. So this is a very interesting topic kasi na-notice ko maraming mga students na yung alam pa lang nila is the 2001. Although they graduated recently but yun yung exposure nila. Da? So tingnan nyo, para ma-differentiate ninyo alin pagkakaiba. Yung iba naman ayaw pumasok sa 2015 kasi parang ah, I'm comfortable with 2001. Tingnan nyo, panoorin nyo itong video, makikita nyo ano ba yung pagkakaiba nila. May mga similarities ba sila? How will it be done? Okay, so ito yung ating uh, given values. Given yung beam dimensions, B. For simplicity, I'll just give the effective depth. Although the effective depth will be affected by the covering, by the number of bars, but for simplicity lang, for illustration purposes, let's have an effective depth known. Okay? And then uh, FC prime, FY, and then the loads. So I will not give, I will not, uh, we cannot compare the 2010 and 2001 if we will start with the factored load or the required strength. Kasi baka, makaiba yung load factors nila. If you want to compare the two apple to apple, you have to start with service loads without the load factors yet. Kaya ito yung gagawin natin dito. So we are going to determine the required steel area using the holes. And then if necessary, kung kailangan, no? Yung compression bar, we will put that, the centroid being 65 mm from the extreme fiber. Kung kailangan. Kasi i-determine pa natin mamaya kung singly ba ito or doubly reinforced. Alright? Punahin natin yung 2001 NACP. In 2001 NACP, the reduction factor is constant. It is always 0.9. No matter if it is uh, over-reinforced, under-reinforced, or balanced, whatever condition is that, 0.9. And then our beta 1 is equal to 0.85 kasi yung FC prime natin ay hindi lumapas ng 30 MPa. Okay. And then yung ating row balance, okay, ito yung formula that is based on uh, the galing yan sa strain, no? 0 0.003 yung strain in concrete and FY yung FY over ES yung strain in steel. By the way, yung ES we are using 200,000 kaya naging 600 MPa yan. Kasi that's 200,000 times 0 0.003. Uh, for your information lang. So, makukuha natin yung raw balance. 0.0283. Then, yung raw max. Okay? Necessary yan in the design of, sing, uh, of beam sa 2001. 0.021 ang ating raw max. Okay? Yung raw naman, titinan natin. Dalawa yung raw na. Ang sinabi ng code, the raw is computed using this formula. Okay? Which turns out to be that. But it shall not be less than this formula. Okay? It shall not be less than. Okay? So ito. Kung napansin nyo, mas malaki itong 1.4. So we will use this value for our raw mean. Okay? Uh, by the way, for your information lang, you may not check on this anymore. Uh, the value of FC prime that will uh, that this will govern for the raw mean, yung value ng FC prime dyan is 31.36. Makukuha mo yan by equating this and that. So, 4 times 1.4 quantity raised to 2, that's 31.36. So, meaning only if FC prime is more than 31.36, tsaka ko gagamitin to. If your FC prime is less than 31.36, I will use this formula para ma mabilis. Okay. So, next, kupitin natin yung required strength. Ah, MU. Ah, yung sila sa, sabi ng iba, ultimate moment. No, 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 that's not the ultimate moment. The required strength yan, factored load, galing ng factored load. 
So, okay, we will really, we are using 2001. So that will be 1.4 dead plus 1.6 live. The dead is 60, the live is 80. Okay, so it's equal to 220 kilonewton meter. Okay, ngayon. Hindi pa natin to alam kung singly ba ito or doubly reinforced. Ito yung ano doon, problema. Na? So, anong gagawin natin? There are two ways to do this. Pwede natin kumpitin yung M nyo, yung design strength niya, maximum design strength, na singly siya. But it will take mahabang steps. Na? Another is, we can assume this beam to be singly reinforced. Okay? Madali lang to. Assuming singly reinforced, we can use this formula. Rm. M mu over phi BD squared. So with M mu equals 220 and BD known, phi is equal to 0.9, makukuha natin yung RN. Okay? I just substituted the values. RN is 3.259. Then you compute your rho. Okay? Ito yung formula. 0.25 FC prime over FY times this quantity. Alright? That will give you 0 0.00849. Okay? Okay? Kung patsin ninyo, mas malaki siya kaysa sa Romin. So, no problem. And mas maliit siya kaysa sa Romax. Meaning, this still will yield and it's okay to design the beam singly reinforced. Hindi siya yung row na required natin a singly reinforced. Hindi lumagpas doon sa Romax. So, we can design this beam a singly reinforced. Alright? So, ibig sabihin, this row is okay. Okay na itong row na to, then makukuha na natin yung AS. AS is rho BD. Okay? Uh, that is 1274 and that is now your answer. So it must not be less than 1274. So ngayon pipili ka lang ng bars, ano yung mag-fit dyan? Uh, we will not discuss na lang that one. Huh? Ito illustration lang on how to design para hindi tayo mawala sa topic natin. Okay? Iba kasi ilang bars ba yan, sir? Eh, depende na yan sa number of bars. Ano ba yung bars na gagamitin natin? That will be a different discussion. I-discuss lang natin muna dito yung theory behind getting the required number of bars. Okay, I hope you understand. Para let's categorize, let's compartmentalize the discussion. Okay, now let's have 2010 or 2015. Pariho lang naman yung 2010 tsaka 2015. Okay. Start with beta 1. Your beta 1 is still equal to 0.85. Na? Kasi less than 28 MPA yung ating FC prime. Kasi kung more than 28, unlike here, 30 MPA. Na? Ito less than 28. So kung more than 28, iba yun. Di ba? May formula yun. It will be reduced by the, at the rate of 0.05 in every 7 MPA of stress. Of, uh, MPA. In each 1 MPA of stress in excess of 28 MPA. Dito kasi 30 MPA yung basis. Alright. The row balance is still the same. Pariho yung formula. Wala naman yan. Galing naman yan sa strain diagram. The same formula yung row balance natin. Okay? Ayan. Yung row mean natin, the same pa rin. Ganito pa rin yung process pagkuha ng row mean in 2010 or 2015. So you have 0.00337. Okay? Pero wala tayong row max. Ha? Hindi na natin ito gagamitin. Wala yan sa 2010 or 2015. Although there is a limit on the a steel strain 0 0.004 but it was not stated as raw max in that code unlike here maximum talaga yung nakastate talaga doon sa code na maximum yan okay now the required strength just like what we did here so the required strength mu is 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live these are the load factors for dead and live in 2010 or 2015 so that's 200 kilonewton meter so similar to previous condition 2001, hindi pa rin natin alam kung singly ba ito or doubly reinforced. Uh, let's not connect it from here para talagang separate talaga ito. Ha? Now, ganun pa rin. Assuming singly reinforced beam ito. But not only that, assuming tension control. Kasi alam nyo sa 2010 kasi yung fee natin hindi permanent 0.9. Kapag tension control 0.9. Kapag Compression control 0.65, kung rectangular yung ating ties. No? And then kapag transition zone, that will be different. No? So, wala, ano, hindi siya fixed. Kaya alamin pa natin ito mamaya. So let's assume lang muna that this is tension control. Of course, when you say tension control, you're assuming that steel will yield. No? Kasi steel yields if it is tension control and of course transition zone. 
Ha? So, okay. Assume natin na point time muna. You can watch this in our, we will be discussing this in the other parts of the tension control, conflict control. We will discuss it further. Alright, so the same formula. Ito pa rin. Rn, mu over phi bd squared. Makuha natin yung Rn. Then, that's uh, 2.963. And then, makukuha na natin yung rho. The same formula here. Ito pa rin yung formula mo. Ha? Okay, so yun, sa t-chat natin, and that is 0 0 0.00766. Of course, that is greater than rho mean, so okay siya. And it is less than rho balance. Ibig sabihin, this is, uh, the tension still will yield, of course. Ha? Tama yung in natin na 0.9 talaga. Okay? The tension still will yield. Okay? Pero this is not yet enough proof that 0.9 na yung gagabitin natin. We still have to check mamaya after we get the AS. Ito check mo na natin kung talagang tension control ba ito. Ganun ka kom medyo complicated yung 2010. Hindi kaya dito na pag nasyon mo na na more than, uh, less than Romax, tuloy-tuloy ka na. Dito hindi pa. Ha? Okay, so let's move on. So after Ro, just like what we did here, kunin natin yung AS. Okay, ito yung AS. Then, kukunin natin yung FS. Kasi para malaman natin content, talagang point time ba yung gagamitin natin. So, to get AS, FS, you have to solve for C and you have to solve for A. So, let's consider this diagram. I know you are very familiar with this. Na? So, ito yung compressive force in concrete and the tensions in steel. Okay? So, equating that compressive force in concrete equals tension in steel, ang purpose natin, makukuha natin yung A. Makuha natin yung A. O, makikita niyo yan dito, A is FY over that these terms. Okay? So, yung A natin is 68 mm. Then, masod na natin yung C. A over beta 1. Okay? So, that will give you 80 mm. Then, after that, masosod na natin yung stress in tension steam. Okay? Ito yung formula. By the way, ha, pasintabi lang, uh, this is designed sa nakapag, this is review. So, I don't expect those who are new to this who can get this immediately. This may not be the right avenue sa inyo. Meron talaga kaming review, online review that will discuss everything from the beginning. But we cannot do it here. Napakahaba nun. Ha? If you want, we have our online review. We will be launching it soon. No, before June, ilalawas namin yung online review na talagang starting from the beginning. Anyway, so, you have now your FS. Isipin nyo lang, itong video na to, free pa to. How much more sa online review? Ano kaya yung picture namin? Huh? Okay. So, your FS is, yun, 3150. Now, it's more than, if you compute the strain of that, it's more than 0 0.005. But sometimes kasi pag strain yung comparison natin, mahirap yung ma-picture out. Maganda yung stress. No? It will be tension controlled if the tension in the extreme steel fiber, tension steel, is more than, equal to, or more than 1,000 MPa. This is more than 1,000 MPa. Ibig sabihin, talagang tension controlled to. Your P is 0.9. Of course, singly reinforced siya. Then, your assumptions is correct here. Your assumption is correct. Then, the, then your AS of 1149 is correct. Okay? Okay, I know you have questions now. What if yung ano, hindi nag-okay, hindi ito okay. We will discuss that in part 2 and part 3. Okay? So, ganun yan. Ha? So, replay nyo lang yung video, tinan nyo. Okay? So, basa-basa din kayo ng code, saan pa ito galing. Ha? So, yun. Okay? I hope you learned a lot from this video. And don't forget to watch the part two and part three okay so thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell icon and select all so that you will be updated with our new uploaded videos okay so thank you so much